Welcome back, everybody, for another Philadelphia custom campaign. Oh, man, people have been popping off on my Discord server, the link to which is always in the description of all of my videos, by the way, in case you want to join, um, about the new Three Kingdoms, or Three Kingdom Three. Uh, so, yeah, we did the Three Kingdoms, two Red Cliffs, and now we're going to do... The third one, apparently the scale is massive. I'll probably do a few runs of it, because apparently they're all very different. China remains in turmoil. Fifteen years ago, the Imperial Chancellor of the Han Dynasty, the Great Cao Cao, had nearly united China when he was defeated by the Red Cliffs by the unlikely alliance of the rebel warlords Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Oh boy, time for some Ornlu Chinese pronunciation. A fractured China soon coalesced around the families of the three great warlords, with uh, Cao in the north, the Lu in the southwest, and the Sun in the southeast. In time, each family declared a new dynasty, ending four centuries of Han rule and breaking China into three kingdoms. Mm. But all know that three kingdoms cannot stand for long. Just as a land long united must divide, so too a land long divided must unite, thus it has ever been. Or something. China, 223 CE. The Emperor of Shu Han has died fighting against the Kingdom of Sun Wu. His teenage son ascends the throne while the other kingdoms plan their next move. Who will prevail? View each faction. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Facing conscription to the armies of the kingdoms with their homes ravaged by war, many of peasants and fishermen fleed to the coasts. They are now outlaws and have joined the pirate bands of the Donghai Sea. The Donghai pirates have no choice but to terrorize China's coasts. They could never return to Chinese society. They instead must plunder China's rich nobility. Uh, this case is a raiding faction. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Legends say Chinese alchemists came to the islands of Wab and became their king. Now the islands east of China are ruled by a queen named Himiko, said to be capable... Cap cap capable of bewitching people. Uh, Wa cannot compete militarily with China, uh, but if the Queen Himiko's magics are to be believed, she may be able to attract followers from China's kingdom. Uh, turn the barbarian uh, into ally of China. Monk faction with economic objectives and limited military. Okay, we've kind of seen that in the last one. Uh, Wa is Japan, by the way. Uh, on the harsh frontiers of the north, the brash young... Uh, Gong Sun Wan plots to overthrow his uncle and seize the Laodong Commandary, once ruled by his father, to declare a fourth kingdom, Yan. Um, but this hinterland is so close to the barbarians and is rough and poor. Uh, archers cost less wood and have more armor. Okay, so like kind of like Koreans. New technologies, but okay, yeah, it's essentially Koreans. Oh. Uh... Once the name Shonggu would make the Han Emperor shiver and send their daughters to marry Shonggu lords, but that was a long time ago, before the defeat uh, to the Shanbei and the entanglement of the Shonggu horse lords in the politics of China's warlords. Uh, Luan Tibao came as descent from the nobility and the Lu family, who once ruled China, now answers Cao Wei territory, but not to raid like his ancestors. He wants to be a rightful Han Emperor. Cav archers have more hit points and stables work faster. Unique technologies benefit cavalry and cav archers. Can train Keshiks. Okay, so kind of like the nomad-y sort of style. Uh, founded by the son of the great Cao Cao, the kingdom of Cao Wei inherited much of, from the old Han Dynasty as it deposed, including China's large peasant armies, elite cavalry, and developed farm lands. The cunning Sima Yi, the kingdom's top minister, plans to subjugate the bandits and the northern barbarians before uniting China. He has other secret plans as well to depose the Cao family and found his own dynasty in his place. Farming technologies researched, archers and infantry do not cost gold. Okay, we kind of saw that one before. Unique text benefit cavalry can train cataphracts so the castle can gain influence. Not sure what that means. Uh, founded and still ruled by Sun Quan, the kingdom of Sun Wu is a region traditionally considered to be barbarian lands. This and the kingdom's militarism has given reputation for toughness and aggression. The wise Lu Shun, Sun Wu's best minister, knows of the call colonization and trade are the key to bringing wealth to the kingdom and making Sun, Yun, Sun Wu's armies powerful. He knows that Sun Quan's favor is shaped by his many wives. Uh, yeah, we saw this one before. Uh, though it has been 20 years since the flames of the rebellion were extinguished by China's warlords, the embers of the Yellow Turban Rebellion still fly. Um, units are free but take a long time to train. Villagers can only be obtained through conversions. Okay. Are there, like, 
How many factions are there? The southern reaches of the old Han Empire called Shaoxi are administered by the elder governor of Shishe, already in his 86th year. As a vassal of the Sun Wu kingdom, Shi Shi hopes to bestow his lands to his son, but fears his overlord has other plans. While still alive, Shi Shi must prepare Shao Zi and his son for independence. Battle elephants and monks have more armor. Unique texts benefit monks and ballista elephants. Okay, that's like the elephant one. Uh, the Viet people have known Han oppression for centuries, but as China splinters, the opportunity rises. They remember uh, the defeat of the Trung sisters who rebelled against China centuries ago. Like the Trung sisters, Lady Chu is fiercely rebellious, vowing to serve no man. She help heap scorn on her enemies. Much Viet blood she will shed against the stronger Chinese, but loses losses only harden her resolve. Archers have more hit points. Unique tax benefits, skirms, and villagers can train battle elephants, retain archers, name skirms, can gain scorn. Founded by the great Liu Bei, Kingdom of Shu Han claims legitimacy through the ruling family's distant relations with the old Han dynasty. Followers of Liu family have settled in the region still inhabited by non-Chinese tribes. The brilliant Zhu Gelong is secure in its regions and loyal to the Liu family. Rather than grasping for power, he uses his genius to unify and develop the region by focusing on policies. Oh boy. Skirmishers, spearmen, villagers, and tower are stronger. Unique tax benefit archers can train uh, Chu Kuan with castle can enact policies. I did this one, right? Nope. The Haishan Bandits. Okay, this is a bandit faction. Oh, boy. And the Shanbi are the, the nomad ones. Can research UTs and train uh, Mangudai at the Great Tent. All right. So, we clearly have a lot going on here. Um, I feel like for our first run, we should do one of these, like the main kingdoms. So we can do infantry benefit from the extra blacksmith upgrades and the flamethrowers and stuff. Uh, this one, you can train cataphracts. I did a video on that one, though. And this one, skirmishers, spearmen, villagers, towers are stronger. Unique techs can benefit archers. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do some flamethrowers. Okay, Lu Shun, you have served the Sun family with loyalty and humility since you were a young man. Your victories against the kingdom's enemies and your skilled management of civil affairs have made you one of the king's most trusted ministers. The emperor has commanded you to develop commanderies in your region and begin preparations of war and stuff. Oh, do I, have a ta I, I do not have a town center. What? Pourquoi? Um, I guess let's find a good spot for a TC. Wait, I don't... I don't have control of these buildings? Um... Uh-oh. Oh, those are bandits and stuff. Those are bandits and stuff. Population limit is 75. Oh, okay, we just have to establish a TC. Oh, this area seems pretty good. Got some fishies over here. Got some deer. Got some water buffalo. I feel like this is going to be pretty long, so we're going to bump it up to fast speed. Okay, here's Lu Xun. Oh, you guys are probably gonna die if you go that way. So yeah, this is this is obviously a massive scenario. Ah! Now off stream, off recording, I guess. Um, I did play. I think it was Sun Quan. Was essentially this faction in. Uh, the second Three Kingdoms thingy. Wait, who's this guy? Shuge Chin. I know my pronunciations are all top tier. Wait, I lost some of my water buffalo. Jerk. Uh, 
Oh, these are fire towers in the palace of Zhang Ye. And there's Zhang Zhao. But yeah, let's get some super amazing infantry. And flamethrowers. Oh yeah, we're Chinese, we get our extra villagers, duh. Akashic, Shonggu, are the Mongols, actually. Everyone else are actually Chinese. Wait, why aren't the Vietnamese people <laughs> Vietnamese? What? Uh, as a loyal minister, you'll serve your master well. Unlike the other kingdoms, your kingdom is ruled by a strong and capable emperor. If one who is easily influenced by his many wives and consorts. Uh, completing objectives will strengthen your kingdom and give your emperor's favor and lead to promotions. Promotions increase your pop limit by 25. Alternatively, you can give gifts to... Oh, boy. Wait, where'd it go? Um. Uh, give gifts to the imperial woman at the palace so you can whisper positives about you to the emperor and gain favor, gain his favor in that way. Okie dokie. Another reason I picked this one is because we're close to the water, so we can go for some fishy fish. Yan Commandary. Now, I have forgotten almost everything that I read, because it's, it's kind of a lot to take in. Uh, there were some more bandits over here. But yeah, the last scenario, or honestly, both of the Three Kingdom scenarios were fantastic. I'd say each one was better than the last. Now, why isn't this going into mine? Oh, I guess I know, because I'm a minister and I'm not like an actual emperor, I don't actually get to control everything. Yeah, that's fine. I forget how good the flamethrowers are, but they're flamethrowers, right? They're cool. I, I guess some of the factions, probably like the Vietnamese and uh, Japanese, don't appear unless you uh, actually play as them. Oh, we, okay, we have to get defeat two kingdoms and obtain five promotions. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A legendary island called Liku is headed to paradise in the southeast. Time for peace between the... Okay, everyone wants to kill me. Let's take those fruit bushes. Oh, did I lose my scout? Bandits, just a little bit annoying. We can take them down. Uh, the flamethrowers have 4 attack, 2-2 two, two armor, 5 range, 160 health. I'm not too sure, though... Uh... But you must increase your favor by completing objectives. Give gifts to Imperial Women. Okay. Search. Okay, so we have to search for the island. That's one of the objectives. I, I don't really have any gold to bribe some uh, some wives at the moment. Wait, what? Why can't I build a dock? Oh, here we are. Okay, they are now in Castle Age. Should start mining some gold. Yeah, it does feel a little weird. 
of two kingdoms northeast of China that have not paid tribute in many years. They should be found. Uh-oh. Who's flaking out, man? Probably the Manchus and the Koreans. Actually, it's the Three Kingdoms period, so... In, in Korea. So it's probably uh, Pekche and Koguryo. Where, where Sao Sao failed, I shall succeed! Yeah! You tell him. Oh! Shonggu! Oh, I never got Bidax. One wood, please. There we go. Oh, that's your hero. Stop! Come on. You want to kill me? Step into my town center. Bait him. <laughs> Lol. I'm tricky. I'm a tricky guy. Oh, I still can't advance to Castle Age. I have no buildings. I should also start mining stone. Market. Oh, there are lots of hunt over here. Oh, good thing I didn't dock over here. <laughs> That's just a little lake. Hey, stop it! They actually have good upgrades. What the hell? Where's my army? Guys, we need you. Stop! Red's attacking me. Okay, you, finish that. Build blacksmith. Us having a rather low population limit right now is not much of an issue, considering we're only at 34. Okay, now we can click up. Okay, so obviously we're going to focus on infantry, because we get times two uh, benefit from upgrades. Um, yeah, good, good for you, man. Inner infantry upgrades. Oh yeah, we don't get supplies as Chinese. That's unfortunate. Wait. Oh yeah, these units were just given to me. So I don't get a blacksmith upgrades for them. Uh, stern and uncompromising Shang Chao has helped guide the shape uh, through his. Uh, um... Oh, here he is. Yes, I know I have to increase objectives or whatever. Oh, Sam Han and. Uh... 
Wah. Wow. So I guess we have to do some uh, some searching. Uh, Samhan uh, directly translates to uh, three Koreas. Like I said, three kingdoms, period. Yeah, yeah, look at those sick upgrades. Anyway, let's go scouting with our galley. Also build another dock. Uh, you're not gonna blow me up, are you? Oh, I forget what our unique unit is. Oh wait, flamethrower, duh. <laughs> you know, the giant fire thingies. Oh, they don't have minimum range, it appears. Plus five. So most of, most of the attacking on us is coming from the northwest. Here's a little island. Oh, is this Cheju? Cheju? Little island off the coast of, uh, well, it's actually a fairly large island off the coast. Ooh, Samhan's Chinese. Uh oh. Game banned in Korea. The kings of Samhan have blocked trade by building towers on their coast. These should be destroyed to open their kingdoms to Chinese trade. Oh, it look, looks like I lost my heroes, but, you know. You start making YouTube videos for Viper and he rubs off on you, so we can blame it on that. Um. Okay, there's gold here, so let's try and get a... Let's just actually try and get a castle up over here. I mean, we have six pierce armor. And six melee armor. Or five melee armor, rather. These archers are going to tickle us. Anyway, uh, that means Japan should be over this way. Uh-oh. Longsword's been out of position. Uh-oh. Um, that's not great. It certainly feels harder than the other ones. Which were fairly easy, to be honest. Um, I guess this would be Tsushima. And this would be Kyushu in Japan. Hashtag Asian Studies concentration for my international affairs major. Yeah. Anyway, I uh, can now uh, buy off some population. Oh, and I assume it's going to be more expensive to pay a gift to Oh, actually, no. Grand controller. Because I'm in control, man. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Japanese are also portrayed as Chinese game banned in Japan. Holy Blagna. Okay, I need to mass up my army a little bit. Things could be going better, I'll be honest. I will admit it. But we are walled, so let's use it. Damn it. Oh my god, that castle I need to delete. Wait, is purple going after me too? Oh no, they're, we're allies to them. Oh, where are they going? I honor this land and my father declaring him... Um, okay. Like, there have been a lot of stuff. There has been a lot of stuff said. Wait, no, now purple's our enemy? And they have galleons? I guess this isn't Japan. I thought this would be Kyushu. Maybe we have to transport over? Um. Okay. Let's try and get this castle up again. Oh, well, there's another enemy. Just pile it on, guys. So, our economy's technically growing. Technically. Oh. Stop it, you. Okay, we got that. What's this one? Chieftains. Yes, please. Oh, maybe I need to transport. I probably said that. I forgot. I I've had a lot on my mind. Oh. Okay. How much these cost? 90, 40. That's actually pretty darn cheap. A little bit of an idle villager problem. Let's just get a scout cavalry or something. Okay, anything over here? All right, let's see what's over this way. Oh yeah, uh, Red Sao Wei is over this way. Sao Wei is over this way. Okay, now we're gonna be running into our population issue. So let's try and complete some of these secondary objectives.
Don't. Oh. I found an island. Don't know what island. Oh, maybe it's the Philippines? There's a relic there, though. Could be helpful. Let's go to Japan. Get him! Oh yeah, I think I could just click on the gray buildings. Yeah, wow, so Japan. Uh, the discovery of Wa confirms the legend of Shu Fu, alchemist of the first emperor who discovered the islands and became their king centuries ago. That sounds controversial. <laughs> These sorts of historical, uh, disputes, I guess? Uh, they're a little bit of a touchy subject in East Asian countries. Whoa! So what's our pop limit now? 100? Wait, I thought we got... I thought we did... I guess that wasn't a, a secondary objective. There's an island to the southeast, though. That might be Hainan or Taiwan. I don't remember which one Liu, Liu Qiu is. I will fulfill the ambitions of Cao Cao. I'll build some siege workshops. Okay, there's a little more stone that way. There were a few units over here in Japan that I had to... Or I have to deal with. Uh, what? A new hero! Shuge Jin! Oh, what's her imp tech? Oh, it's Drujana. Same as last time, I think. Look at these mills, man. It's got it's got mills for days. Submit, no. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I do know that we're running out of resources real quick. Okay, let's go over here. Last furnace on the way. We've got our 7-9 armor. Still looking for that island thing. Oh, those are fortified towers. Champion. There we go. Six plus eight, seven, nine armor. Hard to argue against that. Okay, that should be Taiwan. Oh, the food price is super cheap. Oh no, my ships! Oh, perfect.
Onward and upward. Get some flamethrowers. Does that do anything? Some gold over here, I guess. Okay, now we're getting our, uh, our handle on things, I suppose you could say. All the way over here. I don't have a university. Well, that's not getting me anywhere. Oop. A little bit of lag spike. Hope that's okay. I never got Bowsaw. Probably never got any of my good eco upgrades because I've been under so much pressure. Let's go over there, I guess. Oh, they have a relic too. Okay, nothing there. Oh, stone. More stone! Wood count is actually quite low right now. Probably because I was missing Bowsaw for so long. Now that's a large army from the Yan Kingdom. Well, let's see how these guys are in combat. Wait, do they suck? They're just getting wrecked and they're not doing- they didn't kill anything! Oh, whoops, wrong monk. No! Wrong monk again! Okay, let's go back home. Yeah! Accept that defeat with dignity. Oh, that's large navy. That is a big old navy. Oh, I only need a little bit more favor. Okay, now our pop limit's increased a bit. Okay, let's go north again. Try and get that, I guess. Oh, the trap! That is a big old navy. Oh no, the monk! Man, this map is huge. Hmm. 
Remember, we have Chieftain, so we can even kind of sort of justify making Champions against the Light Cav. I mean, yeah, Halds would still be better, but Champions, you know, more general purpose. Any more Vils, honestly. I only have two TCs. Did I never build a third one? There's more stone right there, goddammit. Let's go that way, I guess. Oh, we can't get cannon galleons. How am I supposed to destroy these towers? I mean, I guess I could just land, I suppose. Hey guys, Ornlu from the future. And so, yeah, this scenario obviously very, very long. I recorded it all in one sitting, but I'm going to split it into two videos. So I just, you know, went about halfway and cut the video there. So the next part will be up tomorrow, and that will just be the conclusion of our uh, playthrough of the scenario. Yeah, so hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.